If we wanted to find a direction from one point to another, say for example from point A to point B as in this diagram, we can use bearings. The two types of bearings we're going to examine are conventional bearings and true bearings. Conventional bearings are based on the compass directions and we use these to assist us by placing the point A at the center of these axes. So as beforehand we see we can heading off in direction B. Conventional bearings are based on initially either a north or south direction. In this case we're heading towards the north and then what we need to do is find the angle that we are heading away from north, in this case 51 degrees. And it happens that we're heading away from north to the easterly side. So our conventional bearing in this case would be we're 51 degrees away from north in the easterly direction. Or another way of saying it is to head north and then move 51 degrees towards the east. We can abbreviate that in a form that's more commonly used by saying north 51 degrees east. Let's have a look at another example. In this case we place where we started point A at the center of our compass bearings. We're heading in a southerly direction. But it's not clear what the angle difference is between south and where we're heading towards point C. We need to work out that angle. And we can do that by subtracting 23 from 90 and that leaves 67 degrees. So we're heading in a southerly direction and then going 67 degrees towards the west. We can summarize that by saying south 67 degrees west. True bearings are based on an angle difference from north. So we start always looking towards the north, that's zero degrees, and we go around to each compass direction in multiples of 90 to where we finish at 360 degrees back at north again. So in an example like this, we head towards the north, which is zero degrees, we move around clockwise from the north until we meet our new point, in this case point B, and that's 51 degrees. So the bearing is 51 degrees. In an example like this one, we still look towards the north, so starting from A we look towards zero degrees, and we work out the angle clockwise from north. It's going to be greater than 180 degrees, but how much is unclear at this stage? We can see that to point C there's a further 67 degrees because the difference between 90 and 23 is 67. So our bearing is 180 degrees plus 67 degrees and that comes to a total of 247. So our final bearing from A to C is 247 degrees.